the debate over tax reform rages on in Washington, D.C., some are raising concerns about how the House and Senate bills might affect education, particularly tuition waivers and student loan payments. We circle back to Christy Kalishian, who has more from Rutgers University, Newark. I just want to make my parents happy as well when I get accepted into medical school. But now that happiness might be more limited, might be half smile because of the loans they have to take out. Students coming out of college are under an average of $37,000 in student loan debt. The Senate tax bill was passed 51 to 49 this past weekend, and within the bill, which, unlike the House bill, will leave interest deductibility in place when paying off student loans. We're going to have to make hard choices. Most of us won't stay in the program. Um, many students won't choose to pursue a degree for that reason. Nicole is one of the many students pursuing her doctorate with the help of a tuition waiver to put her through school. She opposes the bill's tax on tuition waivers, which means students will still have to pay tens of thousands of dollars for their education. While many are still lobbying against a bill like New Jersey Congressman Bill Pascrell, a decision is still not finalized between both the House and the Senate bills. The proposal would be a devastating blow to students and college, especially graduate school, and will make it more expensive and further out of reach for the low and middle income families of America. Tax bill impacting tuition as well as scholarships. Many university students within the STEM field say this has impacted their decision on whether or not they even want to pursue any higher education beyond an undergraduate degree. There's going to be less and less that are going to pursue grad school with these obstructions of scholarships, and there's going to be less people that would want to be teachers, too. Students should not have to make the choice between an education and the simple necessities of everyday life. Higher education keeps the society competitive in the global market. Congressman Pascrell says his opposition against the bill is not against the wealthy in the country, but against the lack of fairness he feels the Senate and House bills provide. This cannot be the rich versus the poor. See, we've been trapped in that thing before. We wish people could become wealthy, but we want everybody to have an equal opportunity to get to home base. Reporting from Rutgers Law School in Newark, I'm Christy Kalishian for WNBC News. A multi 